Nitric acid is a risk but across a period of a, of a year. You could be looking around like 35 hours of uh, exposure. So we need to do everything we can to remove that risk. The enclosed sampling system is using the hierarchy of control. But we don't want to rely on PPE. It's always the last line of defence. We got a short need solution which our vendors provided. As an engineer it was quite exciting to make it better for our operators. The Billingham site was built around 1917. First ammonia was manufactured uh, Christmas Eve 1923, so the site's been around a long time. The majority of our nitric acid is, is pumped uh, across to our ammonium nitrate fertiliser plant. We have four distribution bays which serve our external customer base. That's done through uh, tanker loading operations, which is a 24 uh, hour operation. It's a big part of the Billingham site. The storage tank farm evolved, so we had additional tanks coming in. So. We've had this challenge of trying to make improvements throughout the area. Over the past couple of years, we've worked a lot on reducing leaks, monitoring, repairing, putting a plan in place. So we put that in as a Stephen Wilson entry last year. We'd had a couple of injuries from sampling, a couple of minor burns. So we had a strong focus on reducing leaks in the tank farm area and assets area. It's a really essential part of the plant, though that the integrity of the system is, is key. So over 24 hours, we'd take six samples on a day Plus, if we've got any blends or anything like that that we need to sample, where we've made, say, an off-spec acid into on-spec acid, we have to sample that to make sure it's correct to go out to customers. During one of our site visits, we witnessed um, one of the operators taking a, a sample, and it was immediately uh, clear that we weren't doing it right. So with the, the old style, if the sample point was a distance away from the tank that you're sampling, there'd be like so many metres of line that you'd need to purge. It would be stagnant in the line, so you just got to make sure that you're sampling what's actually in that tank rather than what's been left in the line. So it's an obvious risk for, for splashing. So as they would purge the line through, as you would go back to the, the sampling cabinet, there, there may be fumes in, in that area. With the old system, the sample cabinet itself was fully etched, so the operator couldn't see what he was actually doing. You basically got to position the bottle perfectly under where it's going to drain to, so that that's half where you've got to position it. And there's fumes emanating from the cabinet, and the drain point coming out just right next to the operator as he's waiting to take his sample. On the old style sample point, you'd have to remove the lid from the bottle, take the sample, then put the lid on. I did a bit of research and basically made a list of what was wrong and looked at what we could do differently just to, to stop the, the operators being put in that position. Glenn took it on himself to have a look what was in the market for and sampling systems. We tried a couple. This one seemed to tick all the boxes what we wanted for and it's been a good, uh, good system. I don't expect to come to work and be harmed and I don't expect any of my colleagues to be put in that position. So the criteria I was working with was um, to have a solution that had zero emissions, zero splashback. We looked at the piping routing as well, or the design of it, because the tank farm evolved, so we've managed to, to make some modifications there and improve the site layout. The new system is direct off the line, so it'll you sample it straight away, you don't need to purge anything out, so there's like less waste product as well as acid to be splashed with. With the new sample system, the bottle is, is entered underneath. Within the unit itself, um, you've got a feed needle, which is slightly longer than the, the vent needle. It pierces the, the two needles through the scepter. If you don't have anything like open bottle tops, it's got the, like, the rubber cap that's pierced and it's basically you're not screwing lids off, screwing lids back on. And then there's a, a locating strap that comes underneath the bottle and keeps it there so he doesn't have to hold the bottle while he's actually operating the valve. The operator just has to use one hand once the bottle's located. So basically all you're touching is the, the valve to stop and start the acid. One of the other beauties is it comes with a spring-loaded two-way valve uh, so the operator can get an element of fine control. As soon as he disengages that, that valve it will close back and just stop the acid feeding into the system. We also designed the vent such that it's um, got a swan neck on it and any vapours would collect at the bottom and not come out of the vent itself. You're definitely more protected. We have more confidence in it. It's a lot easier to do with the new style sample points to the old style. I'm extremely proud if something works and, and everybody's happy with it. But to know that the operator is no longer exposed to this fume and potential burns, it's, it's an added bonus. It's a real uh, big reward to know a project you've been actively involved in has, has benefited your peers who you're working with and improved the safety 
uh, for them to know that they're safe and working in a better environment is, is a real positive. It's always you know, safety first. We look at how we can improve. We're always looking at how we can make things better, things easier as well. So for me, if a job's safer and easier, then we've, we've done well. So as part of being quite new to the CF wider group for the two UK sites, uh, it'd be a great achievement and really well received by Alarm Plant to, to certainly win the, the Wilson Award. It'd be great if we could be a first UK site. We don't put these things in to, to win awards, but to win them and have the trophy is always there. Uh, it's always good. It'd be a massive achievement for uh, CF in the UK, and we do take safety very seriously. At CF, we do it safe. At CF, we work as a team. At CF, we do it right. At CF, we do it right. At CF, we do it right.